you can create some amazing effects using a combination of Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. Check out this effect. Herman's got the edge. 20, 15, 10, 5, go! Touchdown, To start, park over a frame that you want to freeze. Use the keyboard shortcut Shift N to create a freeze frame. Press the insert button to splice the freeze frame in between your clip and the sequence. Use the keyboard shortcut Option plus Shift to make a copy of the freeze frame above itself. Right click on the top freeze frame and choose Send to Motion Project from the contextual menu. Give the motion project a name and press the save button. After motion opens, click on the Bezier tool. Use the keyboard shortcut Command equals to zoom in a bit. Hold down the space bar to move around within the frame while you're tracing around the player. After you're done, press the keyboard shortcut Command 4 to bring forward the Layers tab. Turn off the Group 1 layer. Navigate to the File menu and choose Save. Use the keyboard shortcut Command H to return to Final Cut Pro. Now hold down the Option plus Shift keys to drag a copy of the mask from V2 onto V3. Next, do the same thing by making a copy of V1 onto V4. Right-click on the clip that's on V4 and choose Composite Mode, Travel Mat, Alpha. Move over to the browser window and click on the Effects tab. Look for the Glow effect under the Video Filters Glow category. Drag the Glow effect onto the clip that's on V2. Right click at the start and end points of the clip to create a dissolve for the glow. Okay, that's it. Back up and watch the final composite. A yard and a half calls his own number. The option to Pierman. Pierman's got the edge. 20, 15, 10, 5, go! For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro or Motion training course, visit GeniusDV.com.